Welcome back to the channel, Guardians. Today we continue the reviews of the fully crafted seasonal weapons. We recently took a look at the different times pulse rifle solely in PvP, and today it is the turn of the 120 RPM hand cannon targeted redaction. We will go over the best perks to choose from in PvP and dedicate some part of this video towards the end on PvE, and why it may be very strong in future seasons. Blood, sweat and tears go into the making of my videos, so slap that like button if you do find this informative or useful. This one in particular was painful getting the PvP section done. Let's begin. Targeted Redaction is a Void Element 120 RPM hand cannon of the Aggressive Frame archetype. In PvP, 120 hand cannons have a TTK of 1 second at any tier, which is not great compared to other archetypes but has a lot more effective range, with this hand cannon having a base range drop off of 33.5 meters, which can go up to nearly 40 meters with certain rolls. At effective range, a precision hit does 80 damage, whilst body hits do 50, meaning the weapon can do one body, two headshots to bring down a guardian at effective range. Its recoil is very reasonable with a base score of 99, making it quite easy to predict the bounce when firing. Its origin trait, Unsated Hunger, turns this weapon into a very reliable hand cannon when dueling. Burning all abilities grants the weapon 20 points to reload, stability and handling, making the gun extremely consistent when in 1v1 scenarios. To get the best out of this weapon, you'll need to rely on this trait, as the base weapon stats are mediocre at best, so you'll need to use builds that don't rely too much on abilities, being able to get rid of them very quickly. In a meta where abilities are quite rife, maybe this isn't a good fit for most Guardians, especially during the sit back with Graviton Lance meta that we're currently in. If we compare it to another well-known 120 hand cannon in the same slot, looking at you, Igneous Hammer, its stats are vastly inferior to the hammer. On screen, you'll see the difference, just look at that range and stability drop. That said, it has a slightly better recoil pattern, but still barely noticeable. Luckily, with the right roll, the Redaction hand cannon can stand up to the Igneous. I tested numerous rolls and I firmly believe the following is the most consistent. Remember, god rolls are subjective to the user, yours may differ to mine. Starting with the masterwork, range is your go-to for most hand cannons and this is no different. For the first column, you may be looking at range perks such as small bore or even extended barrel, but honestly, fluted barrel feels really good on this hand cannon. This weapon has very poor stability and handling stats and this perk compensates for both, making it more snappier. For the second column, accurized rounds will give you a massive range boost. With the range masterwork and accurized, the damage drop off of this hand cannon goes from 33 meters to 36. In the third column, for PvP there is not much choice, however, Well-Rounded is a very good option if you think about the origin trait. Well-Rounded procs on throwing a grenade or getting a melee hit. Burning a grenade whilst all your other abilities are expended gives the hand cannon an additional boost to range, handling and stability, making it even more lethal at long distance if the perk is procced. For the fourth column, three perks are stand out were tested, starting with Explosive Payload, Whilst it adds that flinch factor to enemy guardians, it makes the gun feel very inconsistent, especially when there are other perks available that can stabilize the weapon, so avoid explosive payload. Then I tried collective action, after hearing wonders about it being able to two tap when active, but I must have missed that as the perk only provides a 10% damage buff when picking up elemental buffs, meaning the hand cannon can two body, one precision to kill guardians. Titan stasis Horfrost builds are the best way to get the perk to proc, but it's really not worth the setup and can interfere with the unsated hunger perk due to the high ability uptime. The best roll by far is Keep Away. Giving 10 to range, 30 reload and enhanced accuracy when no enemy is in close proximity, this hand cannon becomes effective at medium range and can free tap at pulse rifle range with these perks all combining, making it a very strong weapon in PvP. Using any other perk in the fourth column feels really off due to the range and reload reduction, making the gun sluggish when dueling at longer ranges. So to recap on that god roll, my pick is a range masterwork, looted barrel in the first column for a snappy feel to the weapon, accurized rounds for range, well-rounded for stability, handling and range buffs, and finally, keep away for that massive reload boost and additional range. This roll allows the weapon's effective range before drop off to peak at 39.5 meters, which is very good for a hand cannon. Would I use it though? Not really. This meta is not suited for the weapon at present. Pulse rifles do outgun it and struggles versus 140 RPM hand cannons. 120s in general have that special use case of peak shooting and dealing a ton of damage, but for 6s at least, I would rather use a 140. That was the PvP section. Are you still with me? Great. Subscribe if you found the PvP section informative. Let's check the weapon out in PvE. 
Hand cannons recently received a damage buff that made them a little bit more usable in PvE, but it still didn't quite hit the mark. This weapon does however have a very decent role in PvE, and when Season 22 hits, hand cannons are getting a 20% damage buff to red bars and 75% damage on yellow bars, which is massive. The following role is something you may want to keep in mind next season. We have a reload masterwork, Laird Magwell in the second column, Outlaw in the third, and destabilizing rounds in the fourth, the weapon becomes extremely potent on void builds, especially titan volatile builds. Imagine running a legend nightfall and being able to one shot a red bar with this hand cannon, that may be a reality come next season when using 120s in PvE. Even now, headshotting a dragon legend difficulty nearly kills them, and getting that precision kill procs volatile on surrounding targets, exploding them and then getting a near instant reload. Don't sleep on this hand cannon in PvE peeps. Overall, this weapon is probably the most valuable of the seasonal weapons. A 4 out of 5 on the scale is more than reasonable. What do you think, peeps? Are you enjoying this hand cannon? Hit me up in the comments section with your thoughts. That's it for this video. Lots of painful PvP sessions took part in the making of this one, so please slap that like button to calm my sweaty tears and grant the YouTube algorithm my favour. Next up, a Titan build with the newly updated no backup plans, which utilizes a strong setup when combined with artifact perks and shotguns in PvE. Slap the notifications bell. This was Plasma Alchemist. Your viewership is much appreciated. Until next time, see you later. Guardian! <laughs>